All right, artists, we're coming back to our bees today, and this time we're gonna work on creating our hives with <gasps> bubble wrap. Have you ever seen this before? Maybe you've seen it wrapped around something that could easily break, so you gotta make sure it has that extra padding, and those bubbles sure are fun to pop with your finger, aren't they? Well, we're not gonna be popping them with our finger today, but we are gonna use them to do some print making. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up this entire sheet of paper, and you might have a big piece like me, or maybe you have a small piece. Maybe you don't even have a piece. Don't worry, I'll talk about what to do for that in just a moment. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually cover this in paint, and then you're gonna put it all across your paper to create your honey cells for your beehive. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it. So I'm gonna be using some yellow paper today. Maybe you have some as well, or you could just use another sheet of paper and then fill it in with yellow on the background later. And then I'm gonna be using some kind of yellow orangish paint here, but again, you could use some yellow. And I'm gonna fill my entire piece of bubble wrap that I have with paint. Now I wanna make sure that I put the paint on the side that actually has the bubbles, not the smooth side. Once I have it filled with paint, I'm gonna actually lay it right on my paper. I'm gonna lay it nice and slow so it doesn't smudge. And I'm just gonna take my hands and lightly press on top of it so that the paint goes from my bubbles to my paper. Are you ready to see how this looks like a beehive? <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at those, the future honey cells. All right, so I need to fill up still more of my paper, so I'm gonna do this process one more time, right? Again, if you have a smaller sheet than I, you may need to do it maybe a, a few times, maybe four, five, six, seven. That's okay, however many times you gotta do it until you fill up your sheet of paper. then you'll have your honey cells for your beehive completed. Now let's talk about what to do if you don't have any bubble wrap. So what you can do is just grab a regular sheet of paper, and again, if you don't have yellow, maybe you can color in yellow in the background after you fill in your cells. So I'm just gonna again take my little yellow orange here, and I'm going to fill in with some dots. Now I'm gonna create a dotted line all the way across my paper. Then I'm gonna create this pattern where instead of going right below the original dot that I made, I'm gonna go in between my first and my second and create a dot. And then I'm gonna go in between my second and my third and create a dot. See how I'm creating this pattern for every other space? Well then when I go, after I do my second line, when I go back down to my third line, I'm gonna make it look just like my first line. Oh my goodness, we're creating patterns this way, aren't we? Shape patterns. All right, so I would fill up my entire sheet until, oh my goodness, from the top to the bottom, from side to side, I have filled it all in with what would be the cells for my beehive. Okay, once you have your beehive completed, go ahead, grab your bees from last week. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to draw some more. So if you've already drawn maybe another one, maybe you've drawn two so far, go ahead and get it up to four bees. We wanna have about four bees on our paper. So I'm gonna walk you through the process. Remember, we're gonna start with an oval for the body. We'll come up and add a little triangle on the bottom for our stinger, and then we can add a circle on top for our head. We're gonna add two lines on top of that head for our antennas. Then we're gonna go and come on the sides of the body. We're gonna create two big wings on either side, and then two small wings again on either side, but just below those big wings.
All right, remember we can come in to our B and we can create sort of that line in the middle that splits off into a V and add some little extra lines inside of our wings. We're gonna do that for all four wings. Then you gotta make sure you add your arms and legs for your B. And I think perhaps the most important part, the stripes. So go ahead, add some stripes into your B. Once you have done that, you're gonna go ahead and outline again with black. Everything must be outlined in black, all of your pencil lines. Then you'll grab your black colored pencil and your yellow colored pencil. We can start off with our black. Maybe you wanna color in the head black as well as your stinger black and then every other stripe should be black. Now those stripes that you did not fill in yet, don't leave those white. Go ahead, grab the yellow and fill in yellow to the stripes in between your blacks. Now, we don't need to color in our white wings because we have our paper that's already white, right? So that already helped us. It colored it in for us, didn't it? So after you have gone through and you've drawn your four Bs, that is it for this week. And go ahead, put it in a safe spot alongside with your beehive. And we'll get to doing part three for our bee project next week on Alive. See you guys then.